So today we're going to be talking about 3D printing in color. Now, there's nothing new about 3D printing in color. We've actually been able to do it for several years now. You've got the palette, which is a machine that sits next to your printer and feeds it color. There's also the 3D Chameleon, which is a do-it-yourself solution, and you build it yourself, fit it to whatever machine you've got, feed it in color. And, of course, Prusa has had the MMU going as far back as the Mark II. But now we've got the Bamboo Lab AMS system. And this one made color really, really easy. And so a lot of people wanted to get the Bamboo Lab printer because of the AMS. Full color, super easy. But now we have the Prusa XL. It's a tool changer with five heads. It can handle five different colors at once. In fact, it can handle five types of material with different temperature needs. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The XL is a premium machine with a premium price tag. But let's take a closer look and see what it brings to the table. I've set it up next to my four color P1P, which despite the huge discrepancy in price is a very fair comparison. These are both open frame systems, which pretty much limits them to PLA, PETG, and TPU. If you wanna run something more finicky like ABS or nylon, you'll want the P1S or an X1 carbon on the bamboo side. And as for Prusa, we did see some kind of enclosure on the prototype but right now you're on your own to rig something up or find a third party solution. Also, both machines have excellent auto leveling. They set their own Z height and they come with custom slicers that can break any single color model in a multicolor with the swipe of a digital paintbrush. In fact, Bamboo Slicer is built on top of Prusa Slicer because like I pointed out earlier, this is not Prusa's first color solution. They've had an MMU for the regular size Prusa for years now. Speaking of size, the XL isn't just big compared to the Mark IV. It's a max size machine with a 360 millimeter build plate, just four centimeters shy of a typical max bed slinger. Now I know what you're thinking. This machine is way too expensive and yeah, maybe it is. It's definitely more expensive than any of the bamboos and probably more expensive than a whole room full of vendors. But let me remind you that we live in a world where there's room for both Fiestas and Ferraris. Like I said, the XL is a premium machine. It may not save you money at first, but it will definitely take it easy on your filament budget. Since it's a tool changer, each of its five spools has a dedicated path, traveling to its own extruder and hot end. When it's not printing, it's hanging back here at the ready, staying toasty, but just under the melting point. When it's time to go, the tool head warms up the rest of the way, does a little dance to prime the nozzle, and then it glides over to the print. When it's done, the printer docks the tool head and picks up the next one. The prime tower is the only waste. Bamboo's AMS is no less of a technological marvel, and compared to the XL, it's pretty damn cheap, especially if you're opting for the P1P like this one here. Bamboo's AMS can handle four spools, and if you're willing to buy multiple AMSs, then you can go all the way up to 16 different colors by daisy chaining several units together. Hey, I just wanted to stop for a second and say thanks for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. And if you're getting anything out of this, maybe you could, you know, hit the like button. Thanks. When it comes to speed, we have a real tortoise in the hare situation here. We all know that a bamboo Core XY is stupid fast, but how fast? The turbo button is called ludicrous. They proudly boast max speeds of 500 millimeters a second and acceleration rates of up to 20,000. And how about Prusa? Mm, nothing. You can't even find stats on this thing's speed. Prusa said in a blog post that speed doesn't matter and you need to go slow or risk making inferior parts. But do you remember the story about the tortoise racing that hare? Slow and steady wins the race. When you give both machines the same multicolor print, the XL will win every time. Why? Because it only needs to pause briefly between color swaps. The bamboo takes about 90 seconds to change colors. That doesn't sound like a lot, but why? Like every other single color printer, the bamboo has one nozzle. When it switches colors, it has to reel the current color back onto the spool, advance a new color, and feed it in enough to completely push out any old filament that remains in the hot end. That takes time. And it wastes material. A lot of material if you're not careful. 
I've always known that printing a four-color model on my P1P was taking away its speed perks, but I never understood just how much of that was because of the time between color swaps. I printed the Cinderwing Dragon on both machines, using the same structural settings and the same color combos, each using their own default speed and acceleration. The XL printed it eight hours faster and with only this little purge tower for waste. The P1P pooped out all this mess. So is the XL worth the cost? If you feel like time is money, yes. Today I had this tiny little three color print I wanted to test. It was gonna take over five hours on the P1P, but only an hour and 10 minutes on the XL. Plus I knew that I wasn't gonna waste any filament. If your budget is more of a concern, then don't feel too bad about buying a Bamboo Lab, especially the P1P or the P1S. Ultimately, whether you splurge for a Prusa XL or pick up a budget Bamboo A1 Mini, one thing is clear, 3D printing in color has never been so sweet.